Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to today's episode of Isla Napali. And uh, first of all, before we jump into discussing what you guys came up with in the last episode, a big, 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 big thanks to everybody. Um, you know, your comments have been blowing me away. Like, seriously, that was incredible. I, I, I am just so super thankful. We have over 112 comments on that video, which is incredible that's even you know it, it's more than the entire last month combined and i'm talking of the last month where i've still be active uh i've been active on youtube so this is incredible i hope that we can kind of keep it up this way and uh, this is also why obviously i can't go and read everything out but i'm going to read out some of those comments because there are um incredibly useful and helpful comments in this um in, in the last video. Um, before we do so, I just want to quickly address what we are going to do in this video. This has been done in the last stream, which was uh, last Monday, and um, you may have noticed that today is uh, Friday, um, and usually I said I'm going to upload this on Saturday. This is mainly the reason why I do upload it today is because I want to upload something else tomorrow also regarding Planet Coaster. Maybe tomorrow even two episodes of, of Planet Coaster videos because I, I just have so much stuff in the pipeline. The only issue is that I'm really um, having issues recording stuff because it's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm so, so seldom at home and when I'm at home um, it's basically quite hard to find time to do just recordings um, because, yeah, it's already pretty late then so this is this is mainly the reason why I'm putting this to Friday but no the, the, the rule of this one if there is something like a rule or something um, will be Saturdays and Wednesdays this is what I'm aiming for and hopefully from from next week on we're gonna be keeping to the schedule at the moment it's you know there are so many uncertainties regarding the next update there have been so many great news about the 1.8 free update which is incredible and we're gonna use a lot of things in in, in the park so at the moment you know there is th th this little drive in me to to finally build more in this park go on make a layout make stuff um, but on the other hand side uh, my you know, the, the more rational side of me tells me to, to be a bit more patient to wait what we, we're gonna get in the future. Like UGC will be a thing, but not this month, maybe next month, we don't really know it exactly so that that's a bit you know I don't want to go too much into it building stuff right now because um, I want to wait if that makes sense or not um, and on the other hand side I don't want to make too much because of I don't know what's going on with uh, the DLC which we will get soon uh, I don't know what the topic of that one is I um, don't really know what to do in general with the stuff so yeah so many uncertainties that keep me keep me waiting a bit more than just going full throttle on this project so that's why I'm still doing a bit of terrain work and we are still doing a lot more of the terrain work in the next I guess two-ish episodes um, we're gonna do a harbor in this episode though but um, and just as a placeholder we're gonna do a 3d model on that sooner or later uh, but for now that's gonna be a um, placeholder but yeah that, that's just the organizational stuff and you will see a few breaks in the video that's when I was um, kind of explaining something in the stream and uh, you can see right now I'm placing some billboards testing a few things with old textures if this is going to work and I can already um, spoiler no it's not going to work because basically the problem is that um, this texture needs to kind of transition into something darker because as you can see I don't want to make the whole thing entirely um, like turkeys looking because I want to make it like this as you can see here we have the slight tilt uh, in it um, the problem is though um, I can only make this tilt on, on one area where the beach is pretty much straight as soon as we have a curve as you can see over here um, when we then go and tilt this slightly we get this very ugly edge and uh, obviously I can somehow um, hide this one but this is gonna be getting a lot harder if I'm going to do this all around the island so what I'm going to do essentially and this is part of the next episode I can already promise is I'm going to make a custom texture which is gigantic and will be then put onto mm, something about 450 billboards I have no idea what this will do with the performance so if this is not going to work out I obviously have to come up with something else but for the moment I, I, I think that this will be the solution and that's also the reason why I can't um, give you the blueprint of this island quite yet but I'm 
I'm promising guys, before we go into the first building, this one will be released. So um, I, I just want to tweak it a bit more so that you guys, maybe with the 1.8 uh, update, if I'm getting this done in time, um, will get this island to start playing on this one. Because I'm, I'm just so blown away by the positive reception uh, of you guys. So I, I definitely want to give you this one. But as you can see already, it's turning out to be looking so much more go uh, great with uh, the little... Um, coral reef texture below that one so it give it the extra extra touch um to make it look a bit more yeah just caribbean uh, just you know just a little island feeling so yeah but um, now let's jump into what you guys have been commenting and uh, this is very i just want to start with one comment of merlin um because i think this one nailed it and i definitely want to go with this approach um, seriously, I haven't had the idea, but this is exactly what I wanted to have from you guys. Um, he commented, maybe do it a bit like you are the park manager and the community is the company above that decides what ride you will get. Or maybe you describe an idea and the community says how much budget that ride should get. So as an example, a low budget ride has open wire and pipes, uh, has open wire and pipes for getting a bit more money on a bit theming in the entrance, um, while high budget means that there is maybe a themed house for maintenance um, of the ride and general good theming all around the ride. Or another idea, a complete but oops, I'm just uh, a complete budget um, for the park and overall themed area is more expensive than unthemed area, right? So basically, what he he came up with is the idea that I'm the park manager, obviously, and you as the community, as he said, is the company, and I think this is a an incredible approach. Um, I, I have to adjust this slightly because I think it won't work. Actually, if I make an idea, I have to let you decide and then next episode I can finally start working and, and but then you have to come up with feedback and you know, this is a bit tricky because um, I think I'm gonna pitch uh, at the end of each episode um, for the next thing I'm going to add because mostly when I release an episode, I'm already a little bit ahead of of what I've, you know, I, I, I'm not always recording only one episode and um, in all honesty that won't ever be happening because I have to plan my stuff somehow, I'm not doing this full time or something, so I can't wait for it all the time. So what I'm going to do essentially is that at the end of the episode I'm going to pitch, let's say, two or three new things and you can already give feedback to it and um, once I have set up something and this is exactly what's going on in the episode today for example um, is the harbor I have set up the harbor at the end of this episode and your job now is to approve this kind of concept of the harbor um, you can say whether you want to have this position you can give feedback on the structure in general you can already give me ideas how many buildings have to be placed on you can give me feedback where the entrance has to be located you can give me feedback if if the walls are high enough. So now we are going, uh, you can see in the background, I'm going to do the little blueprint um, of our harbor wall, so to say. Um, I have to add that uh, this is only a placeholder, as I said. Um, I'm not sure, I, I, th I think that's a good approach on, on going and doing some placeholders and some of them may potentially be staying there forever. Oh, it is always with some uh, placeholder stuff. It, it won't ever be a placeholder. It will be the full thing in the end, but uh, some of them will be replaced, but it's upon you to judge whether we should replace it or if we go with the one already built. Because I can imagine that other things will profit more from uh, user-generated content than others. And I think such a wall could potentially be something we are going to change later than sooner. Because, um, you know, it looks already kind of decent with the pieces available. And uh, a UGC object would potentially not improve it that dramatically. That it would make sense to focus on this at the beginning. But this is completely upon you guys and you have to decide. Um, the next thing I want to read out is, um, for example, let me just, um, oh yeah, well, one comment from Fred C. Johansson was, could you upload all the uh, previously made parts of your series in your workshop? This will happen. Um, I'm preparing them in the background right now. You will get a few episodes finishing all the parks, but um, I am going to release them now one by one. I'm going to do some nice cinematic videos of my uh, older project and then I'm going to release them. It's going to be starting um, with Clean Canyon, I guess, um, will be the first one to be released and then I'm going to have the competition. Maybe also as a reminder, the competition is running for another two days. 
until the end of the month and then I'm going to have my little judgment uh, time frame of potentially two weeks I guess and in the middle of October um, which hopefully will also enable to give away f some of the new DLC codes <laughs> actually that was planned from the beginning uh, so I, I was assuming that this will somehow go into the next DLC so that was planned ahead and uh, luckily enough I uh, talked to Bo early enough to make sure that I can give you some uh, stuff there maybe but um, it's not confirmed yet, so I'm looking into it, um, but I think that's better than just giving you the old DLC. So maybe uh, you can then also grab a new DLC for those of you who have taken part in the uh, competition. Um, I guess now it might be a bit too late, obviously, to take part because, you know, you will definitely have a disadvantage compared to those who have started in September. But if you don't have no idea what I'm talking about, just click the link below in the description where I link to the um, competition video. Maybe also for those who are taking part just to yeah, look it again or watch it again uh, to make sure that everything is as supposed to be okay so next um, comment um, I want to read out is um, da -da -da -da, which one can we take here um, so there we are oh yeah that that's uh, flotchy Z uh, he said, hey Rudy, nice project. Maybe you will need an underground tunnel system uh, for the employees to go from A to B without distracting the guests. And, uh, one question, what coaster will you choose at the as a main attraction? Something like Aruda? I love this project, he says. Oh, I did as well. By the way, where is Sylph? Uh, Brussels. <laughs> you may have seen that video. Uh, some coasters which can engage with the terrain and a mirror the silhouette of the mountains. Greetings from Mainz, Germany. Um, so as an answer, um, I wouldn't suggest to go as a tunnel system because that's obviously an island and you will have terrible problems with flooding um, or flooding so I, I would highly recommend not to make a tunnel system uh, for employee stuff because it will have to be shut down half of the time if we though have to make a tunnel system we have to keep I uh, keep an eye on um, flooding security and there was a comment saying I can't find it right now um, that um, the uh, sides of the island are too flat at the moment and we will have terrible problems when the tide is a bit higher and this is true obviously and we are going to raise the terrain quite a lot to be honest um, you can already see that in this episode that I did some work on raising the terrain but obviously yes we have to do some stuff to provide uh, the island being flooded when there is a storm or something so um, this is the level of realism I want to go to and this is actually um, your job to come up with those ideas and these are incredible ideas already. So yeah um, uh, There is another one from vintage bricks I wanted to address because this is a very important one. It's a great observation But it's also one of the single things I can't really do and this is um, Vintage Brick says, I was just thinking, you have super realistic terrain, but it's not super tall. Maybe try keep coasters not too tall in order to make it make the hills look more impressive. That is a very, very nice comment. And I have to admit that at the beginning, I was testing how high I can make the terrain in Planet Coaster. And it is fairly high, to be honest. But the problem is, um, to make it somewhat seem realistic you have also to look at proportions rather than sheer height of it if i would have gone for the highest possible height in the game um, there would have been the issue that the island would essentially be bigger if you want to maintain some proportions um, than the map is so that's why i needed to come up with a height that still enables me to make it island looking um, and at the same time look impressive and you have to say we will slightly have to trick uh, use a few tricks to maybe lower down the terrain in the center of the island a tiny bit so that you you can't really see that it is lower than the rest of the island you can already see how i'm going to do this right now over here i'm raising the area of the harbor a bit so that the center of the island is a bit lower um so in this way we can have a little bit of a false perspective uh and make sure that this is going to work out just fine i hope at, uh, at least that this will work but yeah um then we have um, Phyllis Gaming says you might need a savage system or something like that um, and what kind of energy solar coal wind water or nuclear we, we definitely no no we, we never gonna have nuclear power on that island trust me 
unless the company says so and you guys are the company by the way that transport are uh, the guests going to take bus or subway nice video by the way so um, these two things are the last ones I'm going to address and I'm going to address some more comments in the next episodes to be honest because there were a few comments also addressing my channel in general and not only this project but to be to be fair um, energy is upon you guys and as I said we have to and this is something we are going to make quite early on before we go into some attractions we have to spend an eye on how we produce energy my suggestion is and there we go with another pitch by the way my suggestion is to have one water energy system it's it's kind of like a wave which uses the waves um, as kind of energy source and the other one would be some wind turbines we also gonna have in the open sea but also on um, on one of the hillsides um, so this is my idea obviously coal and solar energy well solar energy could be a thing as well but I think it's taking a bit too much space um, but we could think for example of having some solar panels on top of the roofs um, Because we can now do this stuff with uh, custom scenery We can also make this uh, these things look a bit more dirty ish and and you know with a little bit of sand on it I don't want to have these kind of clean solar panels I, I, th I think they always look a bit too tidy and too nice because this park should definitely look realistic and that means also a bit of dirt here and there so um, yeah I think that's that's basically um, the one I can say to the energy but guys please come up with ideas towards energy how can we generate energy what should we do what is the company suggestion um, on this topic second thing transportation there will be a transportation method oh and there was one comment uh, claiming that the airport might not be the best idea with having a landing uh, for, for like what I'm essentially doing right now maybe just go with helipads and I have to admit it's a fairly great idea guys what what do you think should we go also with the like um, having a landing spot for airplanes or should we go only with helipads I mean only helipads would enable us to have mass more space obviously um, but I also like the idea of having a, a landing area there but anyway as a runway basically anyways I need your opinion on that um, but we won't have any further transportation system on the island I guess at least that's my idea. Anyhow, that's it with this episode. And now here you get a beautiful shot um, transitioning of beginning and end of the episode as a new way of promoting something cinematic. This is ripped off totally 100% by the stuff Stricto does in his recent videos. Strict, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry, but it was just too great to not implement in Planet Coaster. So here you go with a Strict toaster like uh, transition video of, um, yeah, before and after. I hope you like that episode. As always, make sure to bring the comments down below in the comment section so that we can keep on this discussion. It was a pleasure to read through all the comments lately, and I hope we can keep that up. Um, yeah, as far as this goes, that's it for the end of this episode. I hope to see you in the next one and um, make sure also to check out the other videos because there's great stuff of City Skylines coming, also more Planet Coaster stuff and make sure to check Pacosaurus because it's a great game. Make sure to watch that as well and give me some feedback on this one. Yeah, see you soon. Bye, guys. We should be hiding out wherever we may find